Assalamualaikum. You are watching YouTube channel Real Life Story. This is the book of grade seven, which name for secondary classes Science Fact File, chapter number one, Plant System. In the first video, we have fourth test yourself. You have page number nine. Till the questions all for you. Today, we have the next test yourself. Hai, page number eleven. Per fifth test yourself. Start. Today, we will solve the page number sixteen. Till the test yourself. Solve. Karenge. Fifth. Test yourself ka first question hai, what is transpiration? The loss of excess water from leaves through thinny holes called stomata is called transpiration. What is stomata? Thinny hole at the lower surface of leaf is called stomata. Third question hai, list four factors which affect the rate of transpiration. Number one likhe temperature, second likhe humidity, third likhe wind. Fourth time of day. Describe how guard cells change the shape of stomata. Answer likhe. When the plant has plenty of water, the pressure inside the guard cells increases and stomata opens. When the guard cells water, the pressure inside them fall, making the stomata close. Explain why a pot plant will soon start to wilt when kept on a sunny window sill, the sun rises, the temperature of the plant increasing the rate of transpiration, more water will be lost, then can be taken up by the roots. The plant be becomes flaccid and has no support, so it wilts. Page number 12 per sixth test yourself. Hai. What do leaves do? Answer the key. Leaves prepare food for plant for photosynthesis. Why leaves are able to absorb lots of light? Is cancer licking? They are broad and flat. To get gases to every cell, is cancer licking? They are so thin. Let gases in and out. They have holes called stomata. Let water in and sugar out. They have lots of veins. What are they for? They are for transport and support. What are leaves veins? Leaves veins are small tubes which provide shape and support. Jo veins वैसे हम रगों को बोलते हैं लेकिन जो plants में जो veins होती हैं जो leaves में पाई जाती हैं वो small tubes होते हैं वो क्या करते हैं which provide shape and support जो कि छोटे tubes की तरह होते हैं जो के पत्ते को leaf को support provide करते हैं यानि उसको सहारा देते हैं Explain why narrow leaves still do their job well Narrow leaves still do their jobs well because they are thin so gases can get to cells easily Explain why upper skin of leaves is transparent upper layer is transparent to let the light to the cells below what makes a leaf waterproof waxy layer called cuticle makes leaf waterproof why do the cells in the middle of a leaf have lots of chloroplasts cell in the middle of the leaves support photosynthesis that why have lots of chloroplast seventh text to yourself which is page number 13 pe hai. why are plants important plants are important because they provide us food and oxygen where does the energy for photosynthesis come from energy for photosynthesis comes from sunlight how does the shape of leaves help them do their job the broad and flat shape of leaves help them to absorb light and gases easily. The thin surface allows every cell to get maximum gases. The winds help in transport of fluids and also support the leaf. It test yourself, which is page number 14. Hai. What are the factors that can affect the rate of photosynthesis? Following factors affect the rate of photosynthesis. Enough light, enough carbon dioxide, a perfect temperature. Explain why leaves are green. Leaves are green because they contain chlorophyll, the chemical 
that absorbs light energy from the sun. What effect does temperature have no photosynthesis? Photosynthesis works best in warm conditions but if the temperature gets too hot the chemical reaction stops altogether. What are the ideal conditions for photosynthesis? Heading the ideal condition. A plant will photosynthesis best if it has enough light, enough carbon dioxide, a perfect temperature. Explain what a limiting factor is at any one time factor which is in the shortest supply will determine the rate of photosynthesis we call this limiting factor explain why chlorophyll might be a limiting factor for some plants different plants have different concentrations of chlorophyll if there is too little chlorophyll this can limit the rate of photosynthesis ninth Test yourself hai, to keep page number 15 per mojood hai. Why do plant need mineral element? Plant need mineral elements for healthy growth. Explain how mineral get into the soil. Some minerals comes from rocks dissolved in rainwater while others come from the dead remains of plants and animals. What is leaching? Leaching is a process in which minerals get removed from soil by getting dissolved in rainwater. Fourth question here. Explain why some soils need fertilizer added to them. The cultivated soil gets deficient in minerals. Therefore, farmers add fertilizer to the soil so that plants receive all the minerals they need. Question number five here. Describe two ways that minerals get into plant root cell. Minerals get into the roots of plants in the form of solution. Or second point, like here, most minerals are moved into the plant root cells using energy. Then test yourself hai, jo ke page number 16 per mojood hai. Why does a plant need to store glucose? Plants store glucose for different activities such as respiration at night. What is cellulose used for? Cellulose is used to make cell walls. Explain why fresh carrots taste sweet. Fresh carrot taste sweet because they contain starch which is extra glucose produced by plant and saved as food. What element combines with glucose to make protein in a plant? Nitrogen combined with glucose to make protein in a plant. If you like video and this video is good, you like this video, then video ko like the channel and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon and press the bell icon. So, we will get you in the next video. In the next video, we will get you in the next video. We will get you in the full exercise solution. Then, we will get you in the next video.